Replit just took coding automation to the next level, introducing the Replit Agent version 2, your AI-powered coding companion that writes, debugs, and optimizes code in real time. So in this video, we'll explore what makes Replit Agent V2 so powerful, see it in action, and most importantly, find out how it can supercharge your development process. So let's dive in. Firstly, you have to sign up or log into your Replit account. And once you do that, you'll land on the page that looks like this. So in order to use the Replit Agent version 2, you have to enable it. For that, you have to go to your account settings. And from the settings, you have to go to the preferences. Once you are on the preferences page, right here under the roles, you can see that there is an explorer tab that helps test the new features. It includes the early access to the Agent V2 for core and team users. So you simply have to click on this toggle button in order to enable it. So after enabling the Agent V2 feature, you will have on the text box in which you can write your prompt and ask it to generate any kind of application that you want. And the new feature inside the Agent version 2 is that it provides you real-time app design preview and will ask your feedback before actually building the application. So let's quickly go ahead and see this new feature. So in order to test it out, I'm going to ask it to create a very simple application. So I'm going to ask it to create a simple Amazon clone and then simply click on start building button. Once you do that, you will see a new interface just like a chatbot will appear. This is also a new feature of the Replit Agent V2. You can see that it is reviewing your message and is considering all the options for creating this application. Here it is considering all the options and all the steps in order to create this application that we provided it. And all of this is being done using the Claude 3.7 Sonnet as a backend model. Okay, so now it is saying that I'll create a plan for a simple Amazon clone. Let me analyze your requirements and propose an MVP plan. So here is an MVP plan. It is going to build the initial prototype and then it is asking us, would you like any of these additional features and we can also make changes later. So if you want to add user authentication system, you can do that. Implement product reviews and ratings. I'm going to select it create order history functionality you also have two other options but i'm going to go with these two and then click on approve plan and start once you do that you will see that it will start building the initial prototype here it has started providing you the design for the app which is actually an html code you can see it has started generating the code to create the front end of the application and all of the code is being created in the real time and within a few seconds it has started generating the front end of our application you can see that all the different components are being added in the real time right in front of our eyes instead of providing the entire front end all at once you can see that it is adding different components and up till now the interface looks pretty much similar to the one amazon actually has let's scroll down a little bit you can see that it has started adding the filters for different things here is a banner we have the featured products in which it has also added different types of images which are actually present on the amazon website moreover there is also a footer with all these links which you can select here they have also provided us pagination and you can see that the agent is still working and is adding different components to the application front end so i'm gonna come back once the interface is completely created so you can see that now it has started working on the back end of the application if you want to view it simply click on this button and now you can see the code being generated in real time for all the different files right now it is working on the footer.tsx file here is all the html code which it is creating in order to generate the front end and here is the code for the backend as well you can see that it is still generating the code for different files and if you look at this value right here you can see that apart from these three files it has created 12 more files and has generated the code for all of them you can see that while creating the code there were some errors and the Replit Agent V2 on its own is fixing all of those errors. Alright, so our application has been generated and you can see that it is pretty much similar to the actual Amazon website. And if you want to view it inside a new tab, you simply have to click on this button that says open in the browser and it is going to open a new browser tab where your application will be published. 
So this is how the application front end looks like. We have a hero section, the featured products with the add to cart button. Let's see if any of these is working. If I click on add to cart, it says that the item has been added to the cart. If I go to the cart and view it, nothing has been added. Okay, so let's see if the filters are working. Here is an error. Let's quickly copy this. Head back to the replet and now we are going to paste the error right here and ask it to fix it. Okay, so it is saying that I fixed the issues with the application. Now you can browse the products from the home page, filter the products by category, price and rating, add products to your cart and view and manage your cart. So let's quickly view it in the browser. Here is the application. Let's quickly filter it on the basis of electronics. And yes, now the filter is working fine. Let's see if the cart feature is working. So I'm going to add the smartwatch to the cart. It is saying that the item has been added to the cart, but still nothing is showing inside it. If I change the filter to computers, now it is showing zero products because nothing is present in the computers category. Now, if you want to search for any particular product, you can do that too using the search bar. Now let's go ahead and fix the cart issue. So I'm going to say added products are not appearing in the cart. Let's see if it can fix that or not. All right. So now on the basis of our prompt, it is making changes inside the code. It is changing the code to add the session ID header so that for each session, the number of products or the item in the cart can also be passed. So now it has changed the query client.ts file to include the session ID header for the cart API request. And now it is checking if the application is working fine and the items are being added correctly to the cart. Now let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to add this to the cart. And yes, now the product is being added. Let's continue shopping and I'm going to add these headphones too. And now both of these products have been added inside the cart. Let's quickly test out the quick view part. If you click on the quick view, this pop-up box will appear that is going to provide you the details along with the available colors for the product. Pretty cool, right? So you can see that in just a few prompts, we were able to create an Amazon clone and you can go ahead and play around with it to add some additional functionalities too. And that's not all. You can also create a bunch of different types of applications using the Replit Agent V2. Just like this basic platformer game in which we have different platforms. We have a player who have to move to the platforms and you, you can see that we have the obstacle logic implemented. The player has to go and jump in order to move to the other platform and he can move around. Moreover, you can add different type of features like enemies, collectible items, etc. So in this way, you can use the Replit Agent version 2 in order to create different type of applications. That too with real-time design implementation and real-time feedback before actually building the application. So I'll highly encourage all of you to try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think about it. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.